Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. I know St. Patrick's Day is over with. Y'all probably, what you gonna do with that leftover corned beef if you didn't eat it all up? I'm gonna show you what I do with my leftover corned beef. You can see this. I ate off a lot of it. My corned beef here. And all I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna make one of my favorite sandwiches, Reuben sandwich. Y'all seen my make Reuben sandwich before. Y'all know already I'm not a fan of Thousand Islands. I'm not a fan of sauerkraut, rye bread, I very seldom eat. Swiss cheese to me is a bland type of cheese. I really don't like it. But if you put all these combinations together, y'all, it's an absolutely amazing sandwich, which I absolutely love. It doesn't make any sense, but it shows if you put flavors together, it can definitely a game changer, y'all, uh, the way you're eating. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna step off here I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna slice a few slices off of here, off the corned beef. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a couple of sandwiches. Uh, don't judge me. I can eat two sandwiches and sandwiches. And uh, step off here. We're gonna come back and we're gonna put this Reuben sandwich together. It's so quick, so easy, y'all. It'll be over before you know it. Anyway, y'all, old school Reuben sandwich. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, y'all, I got everything prepped here, ready to go. Except my butter. I'll do that later for my bread. But I got my sauerkraut here, thousand dollars. I slice my meat really, really thin. So what I like to do, I like get my meat and my sauerkraut all hot. So we're gonna get our meat in here first. I'm gonna make two sandwiches here, y'all. Two sandwiches here. Because the way I assemble the sandwich, I do the uh I like to do that. Hold on. I like to put the meat, cheese, I put the cheese, meat, and then the sauerkraut in the middle. I'll show y'all when I film it. you never seen this before. I'm going very careful here. I don't wanna ruin my skillet with these tongs here. I was looking for my plastic ones, but I don't see it here at hand's reach. So I want to put a little heat on my corned beef. I got it sliced thin as I could get it. Then I'm going to put that in the bowl, put it to the side. Then I'm going to put my same skillet here. I'm going to put my uh, sauerkraut in here and my, uh, it don't take long to heat this up, y'all know, because it's so thin. Okay. Make sure y'all with me here. Okay, got that heated up. Now, same skillet. Put my sauerkraut in here. Heat, uh, heating up there. Now I'm gonna put my thousand island in here, mix with the with the uh, with the sauerkraut. I like a lot of that. I do not like a dry Reuben, y'all. Do not like a dry Reuben. So get all that mixed up in there. It ain't gonna take long to heat up either. Then we're gonna get my other skillet, my bigger skillet. We're gonna put this thing together, y'all. Because when I read not heat the insides up, because you want a hot sandwich all the way through. Some people put them all together cold and try to heat the sandwich. You don't you don't get the whole eating experience of everything hot. And that's the issue. Okay. While y'all watching that, I'm putting my cheese on the bread here. Okay, that's done, y'all. That is done. Let me get my other skillet. Put my other skillet out of here. We're going to pour this. Move y'all over here. See no skillet just getting hot, y'all. Okay. Got my uh, corn beef there. I got my sauerkraut and Thousand Island dressing right there. That means that all, all the eating experience is going to be hot. Now, right here, I got some butter here. I'm going to put on the end of the outside the bread. Let me go on and get it sliced. I got my Swiss cheese already on the bread. I'm going to lay my bread in there. And I'm going to put some butter on the bottom of the bread. I'm going to lay the bread in there. And as the bread is toasting, 
I'm going to simmer this sandwich right in the skillet. And it's so easy and quick, y'all. It's a perfect way to make a Reuben sandwich. Perfect way to make a Reuben sandwich, y'all. Get that out the way. Okay, y'all. I'll be right back once this skillet heat up. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Let's move y'all over here to the skillet that's heating up. And all I'm going to do, y'all, I got my bread with the butter on the bottom. See that? Put it right here in the skillet, just like this, y'all. The butter right there. Bread on top. You can get them all in here. Can we get them all in here? What y'all think? What y'all think, y'all? Right, come on, Chef Jeffrey, can we get them all in there? Okay, now, we're going to put our meat on here. I'm going to put the meat on this side. I want this kind of toasting better. Yes, my hands are clean, y'all. I washed them yesterday. Some people ain't going to get that. I'm going to get emails. Chef Jeffrey washes his hands once a day. Yeah, I sure do, whether he needs it or not. Okay. We're gonna put our uh, put our uh, Russian dressing and the uh, corned beef right there in front of it. Sauerkraut and uh, you know what I'm supposed to do, y'all. But anyway, I'll tell y'all the steak I made here in a minute. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna show y'all just a second the mistake I made. I like to put the meat between the between the uh, bread and the uh, Russian dressing, it doesn't matter. I've already did it now. So we're going to get that to melt off. I'm going to show y'all the mistake I made, which is not a major mistake. Some Most people do it like I just did it. I was just moving up and had a brain cramp there for a minute. So I'm going to cut this off, let the residual heat cook that off. And we're going to come back and we're going to taste this nice Reuben sandwich, y'all. Old school style. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Now I try to show y'all how to slice it two ways. I do it in half right here. If you can do it a long way. You can put you some fries on there, which I used to love at work. But the mistake I made, which is not a major mistake, I like to put the meat on both sides and put the uh, sauerkraut in the middle. That way it ensures your sandwich is not too soggy, but it doesn't matter. Look at that nice. And the thing is, I'll tell y'all about my Reuben sandwiches. I do not like a dry Reuben sandwich. My, uh, uh, it's a place in Hotel New York, New York, in Las Vegas. I cannot think of the name of it. As soon as you walk in there, it's a, uh, like a New York deli. If I think of it, I'll put the link in the video. They make the most awesome Reuben sandwiches Next to Cat's Deli here in Houston, Texas. You ever heard of Cat's Deli? The Reuben sandwich is about this high in Cat's Deli. And the uh, uh, Green Green Greenbirds, that's what's in Hotel New York, New York. I had a brain cramp there. Greenbirds Deli. Hotel New York, New York. One of the best Reuben sandwich you ever tasted. Yeah. So those are the two. I love Reuben's, y'all. I just don't like sauerkraut. I don't like Thousand Island. I don't like corned beef, really. I don't like rye bread. I don't like Swiss cheese. But you put them all together, I'll eat it. That's crazy, ain't it? So anyway, let's go into this. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Awesome sandwich, y'all. Corned beef, of course, perfectly cooked. Mm. Look at that. Go in again. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Nice and juicy Reuben. I hate a dry Reuben, y'all. Mm. A lot of times when I go into places, I have to ask for extra sauce because the Reuben sound would be so dry. Like, Reuben supposed to be just like this. Good eating experience, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. That's all she wrote. Now, I can tell that's the way you got the leftover corned beef. 
I'm tired of eating corned beef for two days from St. Patrick's Day. Hey, make your Reuben sandwich out of it. Quick way, quick lunch, quick way to use it up. So anyway, let me close this video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023 just showed some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.